Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Zumaira Salim. You're watching this TV USA. Let's have a look at the news. President Obahrin is meeting virtually with the chairman and principal owner of the Republic of Korean conglomerate. SK Group of discussed the company's robust investment in manufacturing and jobs in America. <music> Vice President Kamala Harris is meeting with disability leaders on the 32 anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. There is a blue suit and um, I'm very thankful to the leaders who are here today for joining us for this very important conversation that is on the topic as much as anything of justice and equality and freedom. Today is also the uh, anniversary of the uh, signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act 32 years ago today, which was passed and signed into law with the intention of enshrining in our laws the protections that rightly should be in place to ensure that all people in our country are treated equally and with dignity and respect understanding that access to essential needs and to all that brings with it freedom and liberty is important and we must be intentional in making sure that we do that. So we have convened knowing that the ADA was signed into law to protect the rights of Americans with disabilities um, and with the recent Dobbs decision by the United States Supreme Court I have particular concerns about how that decision will uniquely impact Americans with disabilities. And so I've asked these leaders to come in so that we can discuss these issues and pay attention to the fact that the Dobbs decision and the... Kashmir Exploitation Day ceremony was held at the Pakistan Embassy in Turkey. Pakistan investor Surya Sajad Kasi demanded an end to the siege of Kashmiris by the Indian army and mayor such as turning the majority Muslim population of Kashmir into a minority. The extrajudicial killing of Kashmiri youth be stopped. <laughs> The Turkish women's under-17 volleyball team was defeated by Italy in the tournament held in the Czech Republic, after which the Turkish team got the silver medal. Italy won the match and won the gold medal. Germany finished third and won the bronze medal. <music> PTI back candidate Parvez Elahi took out as the Chief Minister of Punjab in the VR of Wednesday at the Avani Sadr after the Supreme Court announced a verdict as against the ruling of Punjab Assembly Deputy Speaker Dost Mohammad Mazari. The top court declared Mazari ruling in the Punjab Chief Minister's election ill legal and ruled the PTI's candidate Ilahi will be the new CM of the province. Compromising Chief Justice of Pakistan Umar Atta Bandhyal, Justice Ejazul Ehsan and Justice Munib Akhtar had initially ordered Punjab Governor Baliq Rahman to administrate the oath to Ilahi. However, they refused to perform the duties consistently. President Arif Alvi administrated the oath. Following Governor Punjab refusal, Ilahi left for Islamabad late Tuesday night to take oath from Alvi as per the Supreme Court's order. In late night ceremony, President Arif Alvi administrator or the press raised Ilahi as CM Punjab. <laughs> Chairman Pakistan Tariq Insaf Imran Khan has said that the fascists condemned the violence done the Yasin Malik by the Moody government. Imran Khan said that the Kashmiri's Huryat leader Yasin Malik is being forced to go on hunger strike. His life is in danger. Imran Khan demanded that the United Nations and International Human Rights Organization take action against India. UN International Human Rights Organization saved the life of Yasin Malik. Imran Khan. <laughs> That's all for now. Keep watching Desi TV USA. Or log into our website www.desitvusa.com.